In this video we're going to draw a line with the given slope and y-intercept and then afterwards we'll give the equation for each line. So examples 1 through 5 we'll do first. So we'll start with, exa we'll, we'll do, so we'll start with example 1. So if we have a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 0, 3, can we draw that line? Press pause and see if you can do that. Okay, press pause and see if you can do that. So if the y-intercept is 0, 3, I'll do it now. So if the y-intercept is 0, 3, where would that point be? This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So 0, 3 is here, right? 0, 3. And if the slope is 2, how would you graph a straight line with a slope of 2? Well, what you want to do is write, okay, 2 equals 2. 2 over 1, right? Which is the, that's the slope, right? That The slope is the, and that's the rise over the run, okay? So if we take this point and if we rise, how far are we going to rise, how far are we going to run? We're going to run 1 and rise 2, right? So if we take this point and run 1, I'll try and show that clearer, so if we run 1, we're just going to go across 1, right? And then if we rise 2, that means we go up 2 and we make a point. So there's a point on the line because we, we run 1, we rise 2. Now we can do it again. Run 1, rise 2. See that? So we run 1, we rise 2. We run 1, we rise 2. And we make dots. And then we just join those dots up and we'll have our line. Okay. So that's that line, that's example one. And um, sure enough, it goes through the y axis at three and has a slope of two. What would the equation be? Because remember, the slope is m, the y intercept b is three. So if m is two and b is three, the equation it has to be what? y equals. 2 times x plus 3, right? That's it. y equals 2x plus 3. And that is the equation. This is the, the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. And we've done this without making a table, of course. You can see that. Right? So let's do example 2. If the slope is 3 fifths and the y intercept is 0, negative 2, can you draw that line? First of all, get the y intercept. You can do it on the same uh, grid. Where is 0, negative 2? 0, negative 2 is here, isn't it? And with a slope of 3 fifths, how would we do that? Well, 3 over 5 is our slope, so that's the rise over the run. Can you, so what's the run? The run is 5, and the rise is what? The rise is. 3. So can you run 5 and rise 3 from this point? So if you're at this point, okay, you're going to run 5, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and we get to here. Now rise 3, and what do you get? 1, 2, 3, and you get a point there, right? Let's do it one more time. Run 5, so go across 5, and go up 3, and what do you get? Run 5, rise 3. So go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go up 3. 1, 2, 3. Here's a point, okay? So we run 5, we rise 3. Okay? And now join those dots up together. And that's our line. Okay. Now, what's the equation for that line? The slope is three fifths. The y-intercept is negative two. And remember, that the equation is y equals mx plus b. So, it would be y equals what's the slope? The slope m is 
3 fifths, right? So 3 fifths times x plus b now is just the number negative 2, because that's where it goes through the y-axis, negative 2, okay? Plus negative 2. Or, in other words, y equals 3 fifths x minus 2, right? So, um, can you graph this line? I'll get another sheet of paper. It has a slope of negative two thirds and it goes through the point zero five. So, first get the point zero five and what do you have? Where is zero five? It's here, right? Now, the slope is negative two thirds. How do you deal with that? the slope so basically your rise over your run equals negative 2 over 3 so what's the run the run is 3 what's the rise the rise is negative 2 so can you run 3 and rise negative 2 run 3 1 2 3 rise negative 2, so it went across 3. If we rise negative 2, do we go up 2 or do we go down 2? You go down 2, don't you? Because it's negative 2. So you drop down 2. Let's do it again just for fun. We're going to run 3 and rise negative 2. Okay? So across 1, 2, 3 and down 1, 2. Okay? And make a dot here and then just join up the dots and that's your line okay and um, what about example 4 can you graph that it goes through 0 8 and the slope is negative 4 So where's 0, 8? So press pause and do example 4 by yourself. Where's 0, 8? 0, 8 is here. Okay, so we got one point on the line. Now write rise over run equals what over what? Now negative 4, can you write that as a fraction? Negative 4 is the same thing as negative 4 over what? negative 4 over 1, right? so it's negative 4 over 1 same thing as negative 4 over 1 that's negative 4, isn't it? so we can start at 0, 8 and what's our run going to be? and what's our rise going to be? we're going to run 1 and rise negative 4, now do we go up 4 or do we go down 4? We go down four, right? Down four to this point. One, two, three, four. And then we run one and go down four again. And here's a point. Right? And then that's that line there. And can you give the equation for each of these lines? Can you give the equation for this one, the equation for this one? So the slope is negative two thirds, the y-intercept is five, that's like your m is negative two thirds, your b is five. What is what's what equation is that? And what equation is this? So this one is negative two thirds plus five, right? This one is negative four oh x I forgot, silly me. This one's negative four x plus eight, right? Okay, so what about example five? Slope zero and it goes through zero, negative six. See if you can graph that one. Draw that line. Slope zero and it goes through zero, negative six. Find zero, negative six on the graph. Yeah, it's here, right? Negative six. 
And what does the slope of zero look like? Rise over run equals what? What over what, right? Well, can you write zero as a fraction? Write zero as a fraction. Something over something. Zero is zero is zero over what? Zero over anything really. Zero over one is zero. Or in fact zero over three, that's also equal to zero. So any of those fractions will work. Or zero over five. But let's let's say zero over one just for fun. And what this means is what's your run? What is your run now? Your run is one and your rise is zero. So you're gonna run one but rise zero. So if I run one and don't and rise zero, if I rise zero, I'm not gonna rise at all. So I've got a point right here. See that? I ran over one, but I rose zero. I didn't go up at all. And so this here's two points and I can do it again. Run one, rise zero. I just stop there. Run one, rise zero. Okay, or if if I said okay, zero is equal to zero over you know five, I could run five. My run would be five, and stop here because I'm not going to rise. The rise is zero. Okay, so in any case, the slope zero is a horizontal line, and that's what the line looks like. Now, can we find the equation for that line? Y equals what? M X plus B. What's the y-intercept? What's the slope? What's M? What's B? Well, the slope is zero, right? M is zero. So that's zero X. And what's the y-intercept? The B is just negative six. Okay. So we have Y equals zero X plus negative six or y equals zero, that's just zero, right? Minus six, or in other words, y equals negative six, right? And sure enough, that is the equation of this line. And of course, this is your horizontal line, y equals negative six, right? Because for any point on this line, like if you take this point here, the y value is negative six, isn't it? Or if you take this point here, the y value is negative six. Or if you take this point here, uh, the y value is negative six. So y is always negative six, right?